All right, next. You gotta have the... Guys, this guy is making a pizza. He's going, he's got a mozzarella, uh, sliced cheese in there. What's going on? Oh my God. Oh my God, I don't understand. Why you guys, wherever you are in USA, have to destroy Italian cuisine? What did we do to you? Oh. Look at that beautiful porchetta. Look how it melts. Look at the way you cut it. Oh my God, guys, this is so beautiful. This hurts to watch. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Play, the place where we react to fake porchetta video recipes on YouTube. Oh yeah, porchetta, it's a wonderful specialty from the center of Italy. You know, the region of Lazio, Abruzzo, where I'm from, Tuscany, Umbria. Uh, it's so popular around there in Italy, it's delicious. It's basically pork belly stuffed, pork belly, okay? Um, but we stuff it with different things. We can put rosemary. Um, my dad likes to put brandy um, and rosemary. I like to add fennel leaves. Uh, some people like to add um, garlic and nuts. And you can be creative, right? But there is a limit. There is a limit. And I want to see what these people are doing to my porchetta. The first channel we are reacting to is uh, Porchetta Pork Roast from Barbecue Pit Boys. These guys are famous. I actually like what they do, especially when they make, uh, you know, American stuff. Um, but this, it's Italian porchetta, it's not American. So I really want to know if they know what they're doing. Okay, let's see. And here we've got some Italian seasoning. What's Italian seasoning? I'm still trying to understand. I go to the shops, I see Italian seasoning, Italian dressing, Italian design. But what is it? The same herbs in the seasoning are used in many other cuisines. Why are you calling this Italian seasoning? I don't get it. This is the porchetta virgin, right? Oh my god, I love that. He's using a massive knife to combine everything together. This is great. Our garlic and uh, olive oil and okay. seasoning. Wow, wow, okay. That's his Put choice. Put it all over the top of this pork roll. That's his choice, that's okay. This is where you're going to get a lot of your flavor. That's what he wants. My dad actually put brandy, which I like to do, brandy or whiskey. The salt and pepper. But you can add garlic. I'm this won't take long it. to do. Now, of course, we're going to add our pork privilege. I don't understand what it is, but... And uh, you can use what additional seasoning you want. We use in our uh, pork privilege. That's okay. It's okay you can personal. get that over on our website. And we appreciate your support. Oh my God, is he putting prosciutto in the porchetta? Why are you adding prosciutto in the porchetta? You don't need prosciutto in the porchetta. You can put any stuffing that you want, but you don't need prosciutto in the porchetta. Do not do that, please. Now, because we're doing uh, Italian style stuffed pork loin, here we're adding a Italian dried ham. Or doesn't make sense. Porchetta is a traditional thing made there a particular way. The prosciutto doesn't turn an Italian. You don't have to use prosciutto to make this Italian. There are other ways to make a pork loin, like you call it, Italian. Called the uh, prosciutto, right? Prosciutto. And you really want to load it up. I've never seen this in my life, honestly. I don't know if I can keep watching this because you're really offending me, my traditions and where I'm from, okay? I really don't, don't like to see this stuff happening. What is that? It just comes from a different area of the animal, of course. A lot of flavor. The capigollo. You want to load it up. Oh my God. Oh my God, I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, Why you guys, wherever you are in USA, have to destroy Italian cuisine? What did we do to you? And why do we deserve this, huh? We don't deserve this. Now you can get a hot capicola as well. Add a little more heat. Capicolo, 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 capicolo. This, this is, this is the capicolo. Now, we're gonna add some uh, hearts. At least they call it salami, but why? Why are you putting salami? You already have the pork, the capicolo, the salami. How many flavors have you got? The, the pork loin, like you say. All those flavors you put in, put in the pork loin. How many flavors do you need? How can you taste a porchetta? This is not a porchetta. This is a pork loin roast. 
American style. This salami is fake. That doesn't look like a real salami. The capicolo is pink. Capicolo should be dark. The prosciutto is pale. It's like not even seasoned. What's going on? That prosciutto is not even aged. What's going on? What's going on here? Again, pack it in the flavor. You guys don't ever taste bad. You guys are very... You have something wrong in your, in your body system. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't understand that you eat something like this. What's wrong with you? In fact, if you like pepperoni, load some pepperoni on. It's fake processed meat. Who likes pepperoni? Huh? Alright, next. You gotta have... Guys, this guy is making a pizza. He's going, he's got a mozzarella uh, sliced cheese in there. What's going on? Why so many people watch this video? Why do you have to teach the wrong thing to people? Come on, barbecue pit boys. I like what you do. You, you taught me so much how to cook the meat, and you're doing this. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? I can't show this to my dad. The cheese, and you want to use a provolone. Provolone, but why use provolone? You don't have to use provolone for porchetta. Porchetta does not deserve this. This is not, this is not pretty. This is not nice. I don't understand why you're getting excited, man. I don't understand why you're getting excited. What's next? Well, you're, not, you're on another planet too. Me? I hope I am because I don't want to be on your planet. All right, now. This is the video. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just are you trying to make me vegetarian? Because porchetta does not deserve this baby spinach. Spinach does not go in porchetta, my friend. Where is the rosemary? Or where is the, the, the real bay leaf? Or, or, or where is the fennel leaves? But spinach, come on, man. Spinach, no. They were shrunk so much and and then. The, Okay. This bothers you, just turn your eyes the other way. Yeah, yeah, it does, uh, it does bother me, and I'm not gonna look. Okay, let's move forward, please. We're using our SPG, the original SPG. Right, so there is not enough flavors in there, not enough flavors, we need to season it more. Ma come mangi, ma come mangi, but what is this? How many, how many flavors? This is the rolling part. It's like rolling a cigar or whatever you roll. I think you roll something else, my friend. You probably smoke lots of joints when you come up with the razor beast because you must have smoked a lot, my friend, a lot of joints before you, you came up with this idea. And by the way, if you make porchetta, what I will do the next time, roll it the other way, okay? You don't have to make it that long. You can make it short, short and... I don't even know what to say here because I'm really confused. I'm really confused. But when I'm going to Italy, I'm going to film the best porchetta in Italy, okay? With the, the guy that won three years in a row how to make the best porchetta in Italy. I'm gonna go to Italy very soon and I'm gonna show you how to make the porchetta the right way. I also have two videos on my YouTube channel how to make porchetta at home. One cooked by my dad in the wood fire oven, one cooked by me in the domestic oven. They're pretty good and very simple. I have a pro I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. My stomach it hurts. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? Huh? And if you're sick of those uh, holiday turkeys, <laughs> check out the porchetta. Guys, this guy is wrapping the porchetta. You know what porchetta is all about? Not just the flavor inside. The porchetta is all about the crackling, the crackling pork. The crackling on the outside that you want lots of flavors. If you're covering that, how am I going to get the porchetta crackling, huh? With bacon or whatever it is. Why are you doing this? Why are you destroying my traditions? Now here we're layering on some bacon. Look how much love is going there. Look how much love is doing this with passion. But it adds a lot of flavor. How many flavors do you need? Prosciutto, salame, cheese, capicollo, all fake by the way, they're all fake. The provolone is the only legit, it looks legit. And now bacon, come on. We're looking for an internal temperature of maybe 150 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Okay, that's a good temperature, but what are you putting there? You're putting more garlic? Is that more garlic? How many flavors do you need? And let it continue to cook off to about 160 oh or so. My and, God. Uh, oh, move, 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 move. Again, this won't take long, maybe a little over an hour, but... Normally my dad cooks the porchetta overnight at low temperatures in the wood fire oven. And then the last hour, he cranks up the oven and, and create the, um, the crust, right? When you use a barbecue, I've done it before, I would say I need about three hours. Two hours of slow cooking, okay, where the porchetta is covered, yeah, it needs to be covered without foil and then you turn it every now and then because you want to cook slowly the inside and then the last hour uncover and you pump it up and create a crackling on each side this doesn't look like the right technique for porchetta i don't know what you're doing my friend this is not porchetta you talk about the good things in life right guys it does not look like a porchetta it does not look nice because I'm, you tell me it's a porchetta it doesn't look nice if you didn't uh, say porchetta if you said i'm making a pork loin my way i would say yeah wow fantastic but you call this porchetta so you're offending me and my people this is not the way you do porchetta my friend Smells good. that's the best part of this recipe making a nice panino with porchetta that's how you, i like to enjoy my porchetta panino with porchetta for me is the best way to enjoy porchetta so at least they're doing the right thing anyway let's move to the next video i'm gonna show you now how to make the real Porchetta, okay, this video has been watched by 5 million people. How porchetta is made in Italy? Meno male, meno male 5 million people watch it. It makes me feel so good. Let's go to Rome and let's see how the porchetta is made. Alright, so this guy is cleaning, cleaning the meat, which is great. Che sebbe sale di cervia. Che tutti i prodotti che facciamo, io e mio figlio, dalla salsiccia in poi, tutti fatti con questo sale. Ma va a lo salt. Pepe parte da 4, 3 euro e finisce fino a 30 euro. The pepper is so important, see? The pepper is so important. Look how much pepper you put in there. It's so important for the flavor. E aglio disidratato. Does garlic powder what he's using? How come? Un altro bel ingrediente che sarebbe la finocchiella selvatica, il fiore. Non è il seme. Okay, you're using the flowers of the fennel, that's nice for flavoring, but why don't you use a nice fennel leaf? I like to use a nice fresh fennel leaf, my friend. I mean, if you make good porchetta, okay, um, that's a fennel, uh, uh, fennel flower, okay, I never use that. Ecco, perché dopo mi dicono la porchetta tua, eh, sì, buono, tu, perché costa così cara? C'è il perché. Allora, il pepe costa 30, la finocchiella 160 al chilo. Right, all right, so this guy uses really top quality ingredients, so, um, I guess even the garlic powder he uses is not a cheap one, so it's de dehydrated, he said, it's not garlic powder. I, should not, I have to correct what I said. I mean, you need to use top quality ingredients. Wow, oh, okay, chili peppers, wow. I've never seen that, I've never seen anyone putting chili peppers in there. Dry, this guy uses lots of dry ingredients, I'm wondering why. I wonder why he doesn't use real rosemary, like fresh rosemary. Right, okay, okay, we're well, making a big porchetta here, it's homemade. This is probably, oh, 20 kilos porchetta, even more. So he's adding extra meat to fill up the middle. I understand why he's doing that. But normally at home, you just need a pork belly and wrap it. You don't need the extra meat. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Mm. Look how easily he did it. And see, that skin is gonna turn into crackling pork. This guy looks like a surgeon, he's like a doctor. He's done this before, look at him, he's done this before. My God, he's such, 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 such a professional. La mia porchetta è la chiusura ambo i lati. Wow, so this guy covers the edges, the sides, with the fat, so it doesn't burn the porchetta. And I have to say, when I make my porchetta, it does burn on the sides. So this guy found a very good way to keep the crackling on the outside and the meat moist on the inside without burning the meat. Wow. 
The reason why it's doing this is because it needs to get the fat out of the pork, okay? Let's see if I know something. If, I, if I'm right, he's gonna say it. E poi, forandola, tira fuori il grasso. Oh yeah, thank you, Zed, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like uh, my birthday present is coming. <laughs> Look how beautifully wrapped it. I've never seen a porchetta wrapped this way. Okay, that's a professional oven. I mean, I wish I had this oven at home. Amazing. Eight hours. Can you see how long it takes to cook porchetta? Eight hours. Can you believe it? And those pit boys guys before wanted to cook porchetta in two hours with all these fake ingredients. Look at that. The is simple. My father, that everything started with my father. We're talking about 1912, when I was opened. See, traditions. Traditions are in the family. Traditions in a dish. And then those guys want to destroy everything. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. If you don't make it uh, the right way, you don't call it porchetta, okay? Yeah, 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 yes. Oh, look at that. I've never seen such a beautiful porchetta, guys. I've never seen such a beautiful porchetta. Wow. Look at that crust. Listen to the sound. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that beautiful porchetta. Look how it melts. Look at the way you cut it. Oh my god, guys, this is so beautiful. This hurts to watch because I want to eat it right now. Oh, juicy. Oh, I'm salivating. Il panino, yes. Porchetta, you have to have porchetta with panino. Yeah, look at that man. I wish I was that man. I wish. He's teasing me with the face, he's teasing me because he's saying I'm here eating and you in Australia suffering. Oh my god, oh my god, this is how you make porchetta guys. This is the reason why the reaction videos, this is the reason why we don't want to bastardize, destroy our traditions. Why would you kill something like this? So beautiful, huh? So thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm going to Italy very soon and I cannot wait, okay? So I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate reaction video. Maybe I'll get my nonna to react in my videos, what do you think? E ora si mangia. I wish porchetta. Vincenzo's plate. Ciao.